What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave and oh what a joyous day it is, what a joyous day. Today has been quite possibly one of the very best sports days of my life. My Raiders knocked off the best team in the league, the, the Kansas City Chiefs, and one hell of a game. Our offense looked about as good as I've seen it since that Super Bowl, those Super Bowl uh, attempted Super Bowl runs we had back in the early 2000s with Rich Gannon, Jerry Rice, and Tim Brown, which was a great start to my day. That had me feeling myself a little bit. That had me, the juices flowing. I felt good going into the Laker game. And one thing about those damn Heat, they were underdogs, no doubt about it. I knew that they had burned so much damn energy that it was going to be tough to continue to keep coming at us. But... They just didn't have it, as I had figured. And the Lakers won the NBA championship. So, it's a good-ass day. It is a good-ass day, and I wanted to get a shave in. I wanted to uh, to share my good mood, not only with my wonderful family. Rocio has had her, her fill of me, trust me. And I, I want to share with you guys. I want you guys to join in on my joyous occasion. It's fantastic. Right, babe? Woo there you go, baby. So, Lakers NBA champions, Raiders. Knocked out, if I can beat the cheese, baby. So it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. So today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try out some of the new stuff that I just got from the Razor Company. If you guys haven't seen that unboxing, it's my last video. Check it out. Click on my little picture on the bottom. Or, and um, yeah, you'll see all my videos. Yeah, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Nobody, I doubt many of you are new to YouTube in general, so you guys can see that. But today, I'm going to go ahead and use Southern Witchcraft's Deserology. Dis I don't know exactly how it's supposed to said. Um, in the unboxing, this is probably the most impressive scent out of the bunch. Um, it's just really, really nice. It, it's, it's just a very unique scent, in my opinion. Um, and it goes well. The sage, I really think, separates it from a lot of stuff. Because I have a few uh, things in my den that have the sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. There is citrus in this. I don't pick up much citrus. Maybe when I lather it up, that'll pick up. But that sage really sets it apart from anything else in my den. So... Really, really excited about it. I hear the bass is good. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm down to try new basses. Again, I don't go chasing them. I don't go out and get them as soon as they release. But once I see something that looks pretty interesting, I'll go ahead and pick it up. So that's what I did today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Today, I'm going to be using my Simon from Heritage uh, Heritage Collective, uh, Collection Shaving. Have that Hair Force 1 knot in it. I'm going to load up nice and heavy. This will probably, there's a good chance it's maybe my only foray into this soap. So hopefully it's a good one. I'm going to check this out. Load it up nice and heavy, give it the very best chance to succeed. Um, the reason I'm saying, I've seen a lot of people say that this is an excellent vegan base. So I'm going to, is it, is it the vegan one? Well, there's no label on the side. Uh, so one little knock. Uh, there has it has no identification of the uh, the ingredients that this is a vegan or I, I believe it's vegan. I do believe it's vegan. Um, at least I know some of their newer releases, like that that gray fruit that everybody was going crazy over. I know that one was vegan, so I'm gonna assume this is vegan, but I just frankly I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I look on the Razor Company's website, they'll have the description. And if they do, I'll have it down below. But I definitely don't want to say for sure. But I'm going to try it out. Of course, I had to go with the purple brush, man. Lakers, baby. And they got the black, too. So that could represent some Lakers, too. I mean, some Raiders, so. Go ahead and get this going. So it is too pasty right now. I'm definitely gonna need some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that right now. Really get that mixed in. Uh, I splash some water on my glasses. And of course water is not gonna damage the glasses but it irks me when I have like those dots. On my glasses. So that's, that cannot stand. So I will be taking that off shortly. Get a nice dunk of water onto this. Hmm. Now, even with the lathering up, I do not pick up much of the citrus. 
but everything else is playing really well together. Sage, I don't use sage very often. When I do use it, it's usually for like poultry. It's very common that I put that in like my mix for uh, my turkeys for Thanksgiving. So I think it's pretty appropriate being that Thanksgiving is coming up very soon. That is my favorite holiday. Love cooking Thanksgiving dinner. Very nice lather. Look at, I got plenty of it. It's just starting to go all over the place. It's kind of like them, was it? Old Carl's Jr. commercials, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. I think that go, I think that can apply to shave soaps. Very nicely, uh, on the scent strength is nice. This, this is a well scented soap. I looked at all of like the scents and I really could not find another scent aside from this one. And grapefruit looks good too. Grapefruit does look like it's a good scent that I would like. Um, but this one uh, in particular, the ones that are readily available, these ones look cool. So, wanted to pick that up. So, and joining the party today, that adds and razor. I wanted to use one of the special babies for today's shave because, well, damn it, it's a special day. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Very nice. So that's smooth. There ain't no tug in there. There ain't no tug in there. Very nice. So I was unfolding a shirt at work and it had a, the, had like the cardboard tags on it. And I did one of these little whipping motions to just get it unfolded and everything and just see how it was. And the tag actually broke off and hit me in the face. Now, you can see a little mark right there. I'm darker, so I usually like don't bruise or mark up very easily. Um, dude, it I think it I think it may have slightly broke skin. For me, this is now day four, and I have a little bit of the mark left. <coughs> so it was kind of a trip. I was like, damn, that shit that hurt. For that stupid cardboard tag to actually like break skin to where like even when I'm lathering, I can still feel that it stings. I'm like, damn. That shit hit me pretty hard. Bam. So there we go. So, a lot of you guys probably watch Chris Maiden. Uh, watch Chris Maiden, another cut above. And he, and he said some crazy shit, some real dick shit in his video today. And I was going to rip him for it. Commented on there, voice kind of like how fucked up it pretty much sounded. And what I really appreciate from Chris, and you guys will probably see sometime in the next few days. Um, he took down the video where he was talking some shit. And he, he ended up messaging me, really admitting that he fucking approached that video fucked up. And um, he took it down, and he's going to issue an apology, uh, an apology to the people involved. And, and word what he was trying to get through in that video more appropriately. And I'm all for people uh, being straightforward, but also when you're talking about people in the community... You usually have to have a little bit of tact. And, and, and he messed up. And for me, anybody that is willing to try to get it right, not try to force being right on that initial opinion, I really respect and appreciate. Because I didn't like how he approached the original video. And I'm not going to get into the details of what's said because... Uh, he took it down. So it's behind us. And again, I respect him for saying that he was wrong and he's going to apologize for it. So maybe even by the time you guys see this, because I'm filming this on Sunday night, I'm going to put it up sometime on Monday. Um, if I edit it and get all my thumbnails and all that shit ready for it. Um, but for somebody to apologize and admit they're wrong, uh, that's big. 
it's not always easy for men to do that and pretty pretty immediately same day that the video went up he's acknowledged it yeah that was fucked up it was fucked up so again never does he does anybody ever have to agree with me hell no You know, but when you're boarding on that flat out disrespectful line, that's when something's a little bit wrong. And again, he admitted to it, it was cool. Um, and he said that, he, again, he wasn't talking shit about me, but I appreciate that. Cause you see, he could tell by my tone of my comment that I wasn't too thrilled by it, I, I imagine. And he said he looked back and he was like, well, you're right, it wasn't, it wasn't okay. So big ups to, to Chris Maiden. It's real easy for us YouTubers to get crucified for saying some shit. And a lot of us, we're not, a lot, most of us aren't scripted. We don't rehearse a lot of this stuff. We don't have notes written down. So when we're just talking off the top of our heads, um, on occasion, now I've been guilty of it. You guys have know. You guys know. Um, sometimes we say some wild shit that probably is, sounds harsher than we initially intended. You know, most of us aren't fucking trained public speakers. A lot of us don't have a job. I can't say for everybody, but most of us probably don't have a job to where we always have to say all the right things at all the right times. So people, it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. So I know conversations were happening. People were already noticing. And just know that I support him trying to rectify that situation. And at the end of the day, he didn't say nothing that was gonna be life-changing. But yeah, it just, it just came off. Yeah, like you ne I never want to just flow it. Uh, I, I never, um, there's always room for redemption and recovery. So, again, it, it's it, it's straight, it, it, it's a cool situation. And I address it because I know some of the people I talked to, uh, seen it, seen what was going on. Um, there was a post about it in the group, so just wanted to let y'all know, give you guys a little bit of an update just in case you haven't seen Chris's video yet. Or in case you, it hasn't come out, or or whatever the case may maybe. I don't think he watches my videos. Um, again, based on my analytics, I think I have like two percent of my views from um, outside of the country, and so one of those people is probably Brom. Everybody knows Brom in the community, so I don't know if he watches or not. Which again, I was happy that he contacted me so quickly, because again, if it wasn't for all the, the the day filled with sports, Raiders, then Lakers, I probably would have fucking made a video, probably saying some pretty wild things. Dude, I'm telling you, this this razor is just, it's so fun to use, man. Does it have the best edge that I have in, in the den on it? No. It is a good edge. It is more than proficient. It, it's a damn good edge, but it's not the best edge I have. But just, again, the maneuverability, the weight of it is just so nice. And the shape of the blade is just very user friendly that it just it makes it really enjoyable to use. There we go.
Got a lot of going everywhere. Very nice. I will say, this is a damn good base. Again, I'm not sure if it's vegan or not. I do feel that I did... Uh, I did hydrate it well. Do I believe it's better than PAA CK6? No. I think the dense, well, at least in terms of for what I prefer, my enjoyment in a lather, it wasn't quite as dense and heavy. I like a dense, heavy lather. And you could say that maybe performance, or maybe it's just a preference in terms of use, experience of use, um, like my use experience during it. Uh, but not just quite as dense. It is very, very good. We'll see the post shave when we get when we get to that point. But the lather is just not quite as dense and heavy as, as some of like the, the tallow soaps that I like or even the CK6 uh, formula, which of course you guys probably know is vegan. But it's very good, very slick. The lather was very easy to form. That's something that I do appreciate with vegan soaps not that tallow are extremely difficult to use they're not they're not difficult at all in general but just there seems to be that that little touch more of ease of use with vegan soaps very nice very slick you can see as i'm trying to stretch my my, my hands are just totally sliding across my face i can't i can't keep them in one spot so which is fine. I just need to be able to anchor my skin down enough so that it cuts. Sometimes I like using a little bit of buffing strokes. And so back to sports. I've never been a big LeBron James fan. Growing up watching Kobe, seeing his toughness and his grit. Um, when something would hurt, he'd play through it. Um, now now the, this modern NBA, people get bumped into, their hip hurts, their ankle hurts, they're down, they're fucking rolling around. It's all dramatic. It's just a step down from soccer. Soccer is just ridiculous. I cannot watch it when these guys are flopping around, falling everywhere, acting like they're dying. I can't do it. It's just such a punk thing to look at. Um, and basketball is getting close to that, man. It's real, real dramatic. And I always felt that kind of, I was spoiled with Kobe being just tough as nails. Um, so watching LeBron used to irk me when he did some of that stuff. And NBA championship aside. Because I'm a Laker fan before anything else. Before any player, the name in front of the jersey matters more to me than the name on the back. But... Him coming to the Lakers and seeing how talented he is, the skill set that he has, that the size and the athleticism. Um, I wish I could take back some of those years and watch some of his, uh, much more of him as a younger, as a younger athlete. Because he's impressive. Just the things that he's able to do is just flat out impressive. It's entertaining. And I really cheated myself out of seeing more of, of him. Because he's just damn good. You could not like his personality. You could not like his politics. Um, but if you're just talking straight sports, it's just incredible. He's incredible to watch. And I appreciate that he keeps evolving his game more. His outside shot has improved immensely this, this year. So it shows that he works. So I never want to knock somebody that I know is putting in the work. Because obviously it is. Because he's a little bit older, I do notice that he can't take as many position. He can't take people off the dribble the way he used to. He still does. He still can, but he can't do it as often. Or before, he used to be able to take anybody off the dribble. Now you notice he can't always do it. So he had to develop that shot.
But for me, I wish I wasn't such a just such an avid Kobe fan that I didn't want to appreciate his ability. And I think a lot of people do it because again, when you start comparing people to Jordan, who a lot of people think Jordan was the greatest to ever do it. That's fine. I'm not here to argue that. But when you start doing those comparisons, and I've seen it a lot in, at the end of Kobe's career, people comparing him to, to Jordan, you don't appreciate what you're looking at because you keep looking at what was before. And so, yeah, I just really regret not being able to see more of his career, more of his game because he's entertaining, dude. We get so caught up in all the media hype that it wants to compare him to Jordan instead of just appreciating what he has to offer now. And again, I've seen it in Kobe's career, and I think it happens a lot now. Uh, now that LeBron's approaching probably somewhere between either his last like two to five years, because I wouldn't be surprised to see him play 40. It wouldn't shock me at all. Um, so yeah, I just, if you're one of those people that are just salty and just hate on them just because, um, don't do it. If you're a true sports fan, you enjoy sports, watch. He's entertaining, dude. You won't regret it. So that was the end of that pass. The end of the shade, pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and dry off. And I will come back with the final thoughts. And we are back. I went ahead and go ahead and dry it off. I'm going to go ahead and do the inspector's aftershave hour right here. I'm going to use propaganda. I know it doesn't look all cool in matching colors, but um, propaganda does, if memory serves me correct, does have sandalwood, musk, and vanilla in it. So a lot of those notes are going to come, going to match up well. Just doesn't have the, the sage or citrus, but I still think with most of those, those uh, ingredients matching up, it's going to go well. And it does. I love this propaganda scent. I'm actually, I think I'm almost done with this aftershave. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about the last third of it. So, pretty good. I don't finish aftershaves very often, if, if, if ever. So knowing that it's about down to a third nose, like that aftershave gets a lot of use for me. So, final thoughts. Southern Witch, uh, Deserology, I think, whatever it's called. First off, beautiful fucking label. I love the, the the artwork. It's really really cool. It has that that real Nightmare Before Christmas vibe to it, which I really enjoy. Um, the formula, damn good. It is really good. Again, it did. It wasn't as heavily heavy and dense as I prefer. And again, that's a personal preference. You can agree, disagree, whatever the hell. I don't care. So it wasn't. I I can't put this ahead of like ck6 i disagree i know i was watching anthony's uh anthony's video on one of the southern witch and he said that it, he couldn't tell that it's not a, a tallow soap again i do disagree with that a bit um it's just the, the density and the weight of the lather doesn't match up with some of the premium tallow soaps and again i don't know if that really improves your shave or not but i enjoy the experience more using those but it is a fantastic fantastic um base it's really good man Hair Force One Knot in the Heritage Collection Shaving Handle. Great combination. The Hair Force One, I believe, may be my favorite knot that's out on the market right now. And it happens to be also one of the more affordable ones, man. So if you're looking for a knot for a 26 millimeter handle, I would highly recommend it. Check out Tri Strike Gold Shave. Pick those up. And um, the Joe Edson Razor. <laughs> my baby. It just, it was fantastic. What a great shave. What a great way to end the greatest sports day of my life. Dodgers start the National Champ uh, the National League Championship Series tomorrow against the Braves. Now, if the Dodgers win a championship, I may lose my shit. Because and we won one in 88. I was one. Doesn't really count. So I've never seen a Dodger championship really in my life. So if the Dodgers win it, I'm going to completely lose my shit. I'm going to run down the street naked in celebration. Just how it is. Sorry. Except that that's what's going to happen. So look forward to that. Um, but hey, guys, as usual, if you made it to this point of the video, damn, it was a long shave. A uh, longer video than usual. Hey, I'm in a good mood. Who cares? Okay. M most motherfuckers don't stay uh, past seven minutes anyway. So, hey, if you made it to this point in the video, you know how much I appreciate you. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Um, it's a crazy world. Take care of one another. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll catch you on the next shave.